Hey YouTubers, Working Man's Pride here today. Today's video is going to, well, be a brief history on this Gravely ProMaster 300. This is a zero turn. This is, well, what they, what they used as a zero turn back in the day. It's a powered with a Kohler Magnum 20 horsepower V-twin engine. Obviously vertical shaft. It's got an oil cooler on it. Um, voltage rectifier. That's what that is. Obviously has an oil pump on it. Fuel pump. All the goodies. And of course you would expect for a mower like this that would have an oil pump and a fuel pump and whatnot. But let's not get into the little details of it. Let's go over the history of this mower why it's with me in the shape that it's in today what i plan to do with it and so forth so this mower was purchased i don't remember if my boss said he purchased it new or used but this was one of the superior designs back in its day and to the due to inflation and all this dumb crap that's going around what this thing would cost in today's money is about anywhere from 17 to 20 thousand dollars so if you were to buy this machine brand new i mean brand spanking new right off the assembly line of course they don't make this design anymore but let's say if you were to what you would pay for it in today's money is around seventeen to twenty thousand dollars. So this is quite was quite an expensive unit in its day. So, but it is a gravely, and gravelys are well known for it. It's like I said, it has a sixty inch deck. Now the reason that he had parked this thing was the middle spindle for the blades. The middle spindle broke. I have not checked that, but I, I believe that it did. And he parked it. Now he said it was running when he parked it. He said it didn't run the best, but it did run. He said that they did something with a valve cover or something to do with the timing might be off. I'm not sure. He's not sure. But I'll tell you one thing. I will figure it out. Now this thing has been sitting for eight years. He parked it up top where he keeps all of his equipment at. Back in the back. And it's, it's sat for eight years approximately so this thing's been sitting for a good while and it's definitely going to need some tlc to bring it back around i know that for a fact that our carburetor i know for a fact our fuel pump maybe our carburetor they're definitely shot i know that for a fact i know once i pull all that crap off i'm probably just going to get a bowl full of rust in it and uh the fuel tank is full of uh, water because the gas cap used to have a gauge on it to tell you how much fuel was in the tank and as you can see that's long since gone if it's in the tank who knows or maybe it, it's not in the tank and it somebody tossed it to the side who knows but this is where your needle would be poking out through here and tell you how full or empty it was and that plastic cover that seals that off has also come off so the entire gas cap is junk now in theory you could save this by putting maybe some uh, miracle weld or something there but who I don't, I don't care because i want to be able to tell how much gas is in the tank so of course when i get this thing running it's going to be replaced with the uh gas gauge gas cap because i think those are cool now as you can see it definitely has been sitting for a long 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 time because all the leaves here's even more proof get all them leaves down in there Yep, yeah, there's a lot of leaves. This thing is probably the equivalent in length that a Toyota Prius is. No joke. Now this has an Eaton. What's up, Bob? This has an Eaton 851 hydrostatic transmission in it. Eaton is a company who makes big, big hydraulic parts 
or things for huge construction equipment like pieces of construction equipment they they are a hydraulic manufacturing company so if you have an and it's spelled e-a-t-o-n if you have an eaton transmission in one of your lawnmowers you know you have something good that's otis right there that's what i named him he has the same exact style transmission but i can't find a filter for him but if i look this thing up i can get a filter for this all day long so I'm gonna since they're the same exact transmission, I'm just gonna buy the filter that says it goes to this one and put it on that one. Because they're very much so serviceable. Here's part of the hydraulic pump. Here's the hydraulic deck lift. And he's pissing on my tarp again. Bob, going somewhere. Yeah, he likes to do that. There's nothing I can do to stop it. Um it has it's obviously like I said a hydrostatic. This is how you turn it right here. quite tricky you got your parking brake but when this thing lifts up this entire assembly here pivots right around here so this whole the engine tips back with the deck but the wheels stay put it, it's quite a neat and here's your your gear roll for your hydrostatic transmission but like I said, it's been sitting for eight years, um, and it's going to need a lot of work. But that's not going to stop me. I know for a fact that our parking brake cable is probably seized because the parking brake it will not engage. And I hope very well that I can get that working again because that's like a hundred and some dollar cable. Just this little cable here running all the way over here. It's a hundred and some dollars. So hopefully, hopefully that it's not broke hopefully the transmission's still okay um it will be getting a complete overhaul or not overhaul but complete service um i'm not attempting to overhaul that if it doesn't need it there's no point but before i make a part two on this video this mower will be clean i'll have all these leaves out and we'll get in we'll dive into it but Stay tuned because there's not a lot of uh, videos on these Gravely Promaster 300s. Um, oh, and if you're wondering the model and serial number, it's right there. Now this mower is was built roughly late late 90s, early 2000s. Now it's kind of coincidental right here that that thing just says. USA 98. I don't know if that means it was built in 1998. Maybe the first two digits of the serial number says that it was built in 99. I don't, I mean, well, actually, wait, that's the model number. But who knows? He told me that it was late 90s, early 2000s, roughly. Um, I think he knows what he's talking about because he's owned this mower for a very long time. So stay tuned, guys. I'm sorry I don't really know what to say on it because there's really not much to say. I just wanted to show you what I have here and uh, what you have to look forward to as far as seeing this thing get up and running. And that engine is wore out. It's going to need a complete overhaul because here's the hours on it. 1,572 point breach in 9. So it almost has 1,573 so he said today when i was talking to him this is my boss i bought this for my boss because we're he runs a landscaping company and he said that they replaced a valve in this thing and it never really ran right again but he said it's going to need a complete overhaul because it is wore out and i told him i i know that in worst case scenario i will com i'll completely buy a whole new engine for it and drop it on there but I really uh, look am looking forward to getting this thing running and driving it because you just don't see these things anymore. And I mean, it's a gravely, you know, it's going to take a beating. It's going to take a licking and keep on ticking or however you said it. And the world are you doing? God bless America. Well, I'm I am hoping that this pump here is good um, because uh, yeah, that's they're they're very expensive. But yeah, that's pretty much all. Um, I'll definitely keep y'all at the most updated 
on this thing but i would like to upload a video on me getting it running so just stay tuned for that and i, I appreciate you guys watching have a good day